All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. You know, before before we start this off, let me just say, if you are new, be sure to subscribe because I'm making NBA content and NFL content. Yes, yes, yes. If you've been here for a while, you know I make Madden videos, and that is coming back Tuesday night. So, if you're new here, be subscribed. We're on road 200 subs. Blah blah blah. You already know this. So. I'm going to address the video I posted yesterday, which said I'm done with... It actually said NBA 2K, I'm done, or Dear NBA 2K. People, Some people either didn't watch the video or just took it way out of context. Cause, context? Contact? I don't give an F. Um, because they immediately just were like, No, please, don't stop. Please don't stop. Uh, I, I won't watch you if... You stop playing NBA 2K. I'm not stopping playing NBA 2K. I'm just done with 2K19. I'm not done with 2K. Why would I stop playing 2K? It's the only... It, I was going to say the only good basketball game out there. That's false. It's the best basketball game out there. And that's what really like built my channel. Even though I started with Call of Duty. I did, Really 2K is what boosted this channel. That's why I mainly focus on is NBA 2K. So 2K20 is out in like a month and a half. And I'm burnt out NBA 2K19. I cannot post that game anymore. I tried posting it until Madden came out. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even last three more days with that game. It, it, it's horrific. It's absolutely horrific. I just, Even NBA Live, I was just done. So hopefully that clears up that confusion. Some people didn't watch the video through, which is also a problem if you guys, you know, let me know why you aren't finishing the videos because the watch time has been going up. You guys have been, probably because I'm adding more edits in the video, making it more entertaining. But some people just don't watch the video. They'll watch the first couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes. Then they'll just leave or comment. So please don't do that. Please, please don't do that. Just watch the video. So, hopefully that clears up that effing confusion. Because I'm not quitting NBA 2K. I'm quitting 2K19. Thank you very much. So we're going to be doing a my NBA playoff predictions. I don't know how this is going to work on this tier maker. But this is the best thing I could think of. Uh, I, I made this just in a couple minutes, you know, the top seeds for both West and East, and then the non-playoff teams. So, I basically am just going to put the teams I think are going to be 1 through 8 in the playoffs for both West and East. Let's just get into this. So, we're going to start off at the bottom. We're going to start off as the 8th seed. Actually, let's start off for the non-playoff teams, because these are going to be quick. The Hawks, they'll be a 9-10 seed, honestly. Hornets are going to be the worst team in the league. They're the worst team in the league. I don't care. Cavs, probably the third worst team. Mavericks, I'm sorry. The West is too good. Pistons, I don't I don't even think Blake's going to stay there. I think he might get traded. Uh, Grizzlies, you're not good enough yet. You will be there. Timberwolves, if, you know, Wiggins decides to, you know, step it up. I'm going to put these by, like, the most likely to, like, be the closest. So, the Hawks are going to be there. The Timberwolves are going to be be right there. Uh, I, pu I put the Mavs over here. And I put the Grizzlies over here. You can go all the way over there. Uh, the Knicks, yeah, you're you're better than the Hornets, worse than the Cavs. That's just facts. The Magic are gonna be right there. They might be borderline. They might be a 10-9 seed. Also, the Suns, you go right there. The Kings, I think, are the best team out of all of these teams. I think the Kings are the best, but the West is too loaded. The West is way too loaded. And then the Wizards, you don't have John Wall. You're right there. Also, the Pelicans, your your team is way too young. Your team is way too young. You might be close. Team's way too young. The Thunder might sneak in there. They might sneak in there. They might be a dark horse for the 8th seed. So, I believe we Gucci? Yeah, we Gucci. All right, so we're going to start on the 8th seed. And the 8th seed for the East, I believe, is going to be the Chicago Bulls. I think... They're gonna sneak. They're, they're, they're gonna sneak in there. Barely sneak in there. With I think they're gonna go 40 and 42. All right. I believe they're gonna go 40 and 42. Maybe 41 or 41. I think Zach Levine is gonna be an All Star this season. I don't think he was last season. I think he got snubbed or he was injured. One or the other. But Zach Levine is gonna be an All Star. Kobe White's gonna come in and contribute. I think Wendell Carter is gonna have an up season. I think Markkanen's gonna drop 20 plus a game. So and they got Thad Young. They got Thomas Adoransky. They might trade Chris Dunn. So the, the, the Bulls team's going to be good. The 8th seed for the West, the San Antonio Spurs. If they do not trade DeMar DeRozan, this is still a playoff team. Their only competition, I believe, is the Kings for that 8th spot. The Kings and maybe the Timberwolves are their only competition for that 8th spot. And the Thunder. 
But other than that, the Spurs are the better team. They're better than all of them. They got DeMar. They got Aldridge. They got DeJounte Murray coming back, who's a, a defensive beast. The all-defensive first team candidate. So the Spurs are going to be the eighth seed. Going to seven for the East, the Toronto Raptors. Now, the Raptors could be a sixth seed. You don't know. But the Raptors, even though they lost Kawhi, if they keep Lowry, this is still a playoff team. This is still a team that could win about 45 games. You know, if Siakam's going to be an all-star next season, I'm calling it. Siakam's an all-star. Norman Powell's going to take the next step. OG Ananobi, they picked up Rondé Howell Jeff Jefferson, who's very good defensively. He just needs to get a jump shot. But the Raptors, they're, they're solid. They're extremely solid. Very, very solid team. For the seventh seed in the West, this was difficult. This was difficult. And I ultimately went with the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors as a seventh seed. Yes, yes, yes. Clay's going to be gone probably until the playoffs, maybe till the second round. He's gone till then. They picked up D'Lo. We don't know how D'Lo and Steph are going to work in that backcourt. I don't expect them to put D'Lo on the bench. That'd be stupid because you have no one else that could start. But their lineup's going to look like Curry, Russell, um, McKinney, Draymond, and Willie Cauley-Stein. That, that's a good team. I see them winning probably like 48 games, honestly. that That's a really good team. And the West, the West is loaded. The West is loaded. Going to the sixth seed for the East. This this one's going to be a bit of controversial. The Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers, I think, will be a sixth seed. Yes, the main reason is because Old Depot is going to be out till probably like January, February, December, if lucky. So the team, even though without Old Depot, they were a five seed. They won 48 games or 49, one of them. I think it was 48. They don't have Bogdan, who was their leading scorer. They lost him. They lost Darren Collison, who was very, very solid. He was a good point guard. But they added Brogdon, TJ Warren. Two very good players. I think Brogdon's going to come out, drop like 15 to 16. He averaged 15 with the Bucks, so this dude's going to average close to 20 points a game. I think he's going to be the number one scoring option while uh, Old Depot's out. So they got Brogdon at the point guard. He might be running shooting guard. We don't know. Because you also got Aaron Holiday, who I think is going to take the next step. He's a beast. Then you got TJ Warren, who averaged a good 20 points, 18 points this season with the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, the Phoenix Suns. But still, TJ Warren's a good-ass player. You also got Miles Turner, DeMontis Monis off the bench. Pacers are a good team. I see him winning about 46 games. And then the sixth seed for the West. I hate to do this. I really do. But it's the Portland Trail Blazers. Portland Trailblazers, I have winning 50 games. 50 games as a sixth seed is insanity. Insanity, you win 50 games and become the sixth seed. Honestly, I don't. The Portland Trailblazers have always been a 50 plus one team over the past like four to five years. They've always been. That's just how they are. So I expect them, even, they even got better. They got more depth. They traded Evan Turner for Kent Bazemore. I think Kent Bazemore is a better version of Evan Turner. But the. Portland Trailblazers overall just got better. The fifth seed for the East, the Brooklyn Nets. Yes, the Brooklyn Nets. People are high on the Nets. They think they're going to be a top three team in the East. I don't think so because you got to remember, this KD's not there right now. And Andre Drummond? No, not Andre Drummond. DeAndre Jordan is probably the most overrated big man in the league. I said it. DeAndre Jordan is the most overrated center in the league. He grabs rebounds, maybe blocks a shot. That's really it. He can't do much. So, Karis LeVert might have another breakout season. He might average 20-plus. But I don't see this team winning more than 47 games with Kyrie at the helm. I honestly don't. And for the West, I have the Utah no longer booty butt jazz as the fifth seed in the Western Conference. I see them winning 51 games, only either 50 or 51 ahead of the Blazers. But I think they're going to improve on this season because they won 50 this season. There's no way they get worse. They added Mike Conley and Bogdan Bogdanovich, two 20 plus four game scorers, two players who can shoot. And Mike Conley is one of the best defensive point guards in the league. No duh. They, they got better. They, they definitely got better. For the fourth seed, I'm a Heat fan. You might hate me on this. I think the Heat are going to be the fourth seed. With 47 wins, I think they're going to tie with wins with Brooklyn. Listen, if this Heat team won 44 games with a lineup of Drogic, Richardson, Winslow, Kelly Olenek, and Hassan Whiteside, they are going to win more games with a lineup of Winslow, 
Uh, probably Dion. Jimmy Butler, Olenek, and Bam. Never mentioned Bam's in his third season, coming off a pretty damn good season starting. Not his overall stats. Starting stats, he was a beast. Winslow, he's going to take the next step. He he got unleashed at the point guard position. He was a good-ass point guard. And then you got Jimmy Butler, a top 15 player in the league. The Heat, when they won 44 games, didn't even have a top probably 20 player in the league on their team. Yes, Dragic was very good. Yes, um, Richardson was all right. But they they didn't have you know that one star player. Now they have the star player, all star player. You can use star very very lenient. But the Heat, I think people are saying they're going to be the sixth seed, win forty three games. There's no way they win less or the same amount of games as that squad that won forty four. There's no way that's happening with Jimmy Butler. So I may be overrating Jimmy Butler a bit. I don't know. But the fourth seed for the West. Yes, 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 sir. It will be. The, am I missing someone? Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Okay, no, I'm not missing anyone. It will be the Los Angeles Lakers. That would put a Lakers Jazz first round series, which would probably be decent. But I have the Lakers as the fourth seed. Yeah. So, how I think about this is yes, you have Kuzma, LeBron, Demarcus, Anthony Davis. All right. We don't know how DeMarcus is going to play. He played good in the regular season for the Warriors. Dude averaged 16, 8, maybe 4 assists, about block. Starting for the Warriors in the regular season, not playoffs. Regular season. You got AD and LeBron, two top five players in the league. Kuzma, who just came off his career year, averaging 18 points. He thought he was going to dip down. He's probably going to be playing the small forward position. So, And they got, they got better. They don't really have better depth. But they got depth. They got underrated depth on their team. Avery Bradley, I think, is going to take a step up. He was beasting in Memphis, even though there were empty stats. Then in mind, he was beasting in Memphis. Uh, they picked up Danny Green, one of the best perimeter defenders in the league right now. Uh, picked up players like Quinn Cook, who can shoot the ball. He, he's he's going to get his opportunity, you know, getting way more minutes than he did on the Warriors. They picked up a lot of, a lot of key players for their team. Now for the third seed in the Eastern Conference, the Boston, the Boston Celtics will be the third seed. They they're basically the same team, just a little bit worse losing Al Horford. Kemba Walker is you know just bare. He's Kyrie Irving on clearance. All right, they're basically the same item, basically the same item, just just one, just a little bit worse, like barely, barely, barely below. Kyrie and Kemba are very, very similar players. And adding Kemba, who's a better locker room guy than Kyrie, it's a, it, it's a, it seems like. I think I think it's going to work out for them. I think they'd be a third seed, winning like probably 51 games, 50 games. Third seed for the West, the Los Angeles Clippers. And you know, I know what you're saying. But, but wait, but the Clippers, they got to be a one, maybe a two seed. That, that's what ESPN predicted. They're going to be the one seed. Uh, the, 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 no, they're not. All right, this team won 48 games without a star on their team. I get that. Very good. Very, very good. So that's why I have them at the third seed, winning at least 54 games. At least. So th that team's good. I don't know how the hell they're going to run PG and Kawhi. People have been saying they're going to run PG at power forward. That's not going to work. That's not going to... They, they got to run PG at shooting guard. Kawhi or PG got to run shooting guard. But Clippers, third seed. Two seed for the East. It's Sixers. It's obviously the Sixers. It's close between the Sixers and Bucks. Sixers got stacked. I don't know what I'm going to say. Two seed for the West. Rockets. Rockets are the two seed. They got the three seed this season. After starting off pretty bad. With Chris Paul. Russ Westbrook's better than Chris Paul. They had the, literally the same team. It only it makes it just makes sense. Bucks one seed for the East. Their team all they did was lose Brogdon, and they kept they kept their team, their team, and they added Wesley Matthews, who's a damn good replacement. Then the one seed for the West, it's 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 the Nuggets, it's the Denver Denver Nuggets. This team was the two seed, tied with the Rockets this past season. They, I think, have the most chemistry, best chemistry out of all these teams, except for probably the Blazers, maybe. But they have also have a stacked team, stacked bench. They have all the positions of need. 
they're going to be the one seed. So, that's going to be it for me. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. GG.